Hi, this is Vincent Hammer from ExoCAD. In this video we're going to be looking at how to make a screw retained hybrid denture with a bar by tricking PartialCAD into doing a quick snap workflow. We're going to be importing the bar and treating it as the uh, framework and then we're going to manually make the bottom gingiva um, with a few steps using drafting of that bar. Okay, so first we're going to take a look at the settings. The most important one here is the loading of the screw channels. Uh, the three below that um, just uh, specify where the screw channel is going and certain offsets that you might want to apply to them. But the main thing you have to do is the first one. Also, um, pull the teeth down to the gingiva bottom. Um, by default that's on and I turn it off in this case because the teeth are so high. Um, and then finally the last one just changes the order of um, how parts are assembled. I'm not sure it's necessary. Uh, we can see later. Okay, so we're going to load up our project. Uh, it's important that this project is the project that was uh, used to make the bar because that is the one where the uh, screw channels are in. So there's nothing uh, typical about this project, so we're going to have to load everything uh, more or less manually. Okay, so there we have our bar. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to line it up a little bit. Um, so the path of insertion um, in this uh, project now, it basically has to do with how we're pulling these parts uh, apart uh, or putting them together, whatever your perspective is. Uh, and you want to try and have your bar lined up um, more or less uh, path of insertion parallel to the sides of your bar. All right, now we're going to trick it into doing a quick snap workflow. We're just going to create a part assembly, do our split gingiva. And then we'll have to import the uh, remaining parts, which in this case will be the bridge and the gingiva. And before we apply um, the blockout step here, we need to assign where these parts are going to go. This is important because the teeth in the gingiva, um, are, the teeth are adapted inside of the gingiva. So um, we right click on our part, uh, solid wax is good. We make sure the bridge goes to the teeth and the gingiva goes to the gingiva wax volume. And finally, the bar is gonna be our honorary framework. Okay, so let's apply that. All right, so let's take a look now at the, the gingiva to see that the uh, screw channels were imported into the block out of the gingiva. All right, so there you see the screw channels sticking out. All right, let's start, uh, let's start working on our bottom gingiva, which we have to do manually. So it's actually not that hard. Uh, we'll start by activating it. So we're going to take a copy of our framework and put it into the bottom gingiva. And then we're going to draft that down, which will give us the starting, uh, starting, good starting point. Now, I'm going to apply a slightly negative draft here. Um, this helps with the, with the edges. Um, we're going to actually change it to a positive draft later, but right now I just want to get the initial shape there. If your, uh, if your bar was, uh, your path of insertion was slightly more at an angle, you could get some wax running up the sides, and this, this prevents that. Okay, um, so, so here you see the, um, the bar pulled down. Now we can just remove the, the bar from this, and we'll just have the drafted area left, which gets us a little bit closer to, uh, to our bottom gingiva. Okay, we do a remove. I'm going to apply a slight offset just because the surfaces are so close to each other, they might create a little bit of noise. And um, you don't have to worry about the gap because we're uh, going to take care of that in a second. Now also you notice around the screw channels there's a little bit of noise because of the drafting. We'll just clean that up right away by doing a crop. I'm cropping to the gingiva. All right, so we have a good starting point now. Uh, the main issue at the moment is that we have kind of a sharp edge. Okay, so let's take a look at the edge here. So um, the bar is rounded a little bit on the bottom, and that causes the, uh, the bottom gingiva to creep up alongside of it. Uh, it's not a big deal. Um, we can uh, easily clean it up. Okay, there you see the, uh, the gap that I created, and you can see how it's sort of creeping up in the edges there. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, just apply an additive smooth to uh, the whole top of the bottom gingiva. It'll take care of that edge and we'll also fill in the gap. All 
Okay, so now we have a good, um, a good edge to work off of, and now we're going to apply um, a positive draft to get you the bulk of the uh, uh, bottom gingiva. Okay, now at this point you can already call it a day. Um, you have your bottom gingiva that um, uh, should be functional at this point. Uh, but we're going to do a couple of other things uh, to make it nicer and just to show you some different options that you have. So we're going to add a, a nice base along the entirety of the gingiva. And we're just going to slop on a bunch of wax with the clone tool. And then we're going to trim it back with, uh, uh, with the crop of the gingiva. Okay, so um, again, we could be done at this point, but there's one other thing uh, I'd like to show you. Um, we currently have the, uh, the teeth going down to the bar and cutting all the way through the gingiva. Uh, and I want to make something that looks a little bit more like a uh, regular tooth pocket. This is nice structurally, but I, I think there might be an issue because the, uh, there's so much of the gingiva along the top that is not attached. Uh, I don't know if that would be an issue or not, but it's very easy in this case to, uh, to just connect um, the gingiva. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to remove some material from the teeth, and we're going to do a very similar trick that we did before. We're going to copy the bar into the tooth block out, and then we're going to expand that area so that it will be removed from the teeth, and so that when the teeth are subtracted from the gingiva, it's not removing all the gingiva all the way down to the bar. It'll be more obvious when you see it happen. Okay, so I have my block out now um, <coughs> in my tooth volume. And now within the gingiva, I'm going to expand it. So we'll give it a thickness of, you know, somewhere about 0.7 millimeters or so. <coughs> whatever you want the minimum thickness of your uh, gingiva to be. Okay, so there you see what the, what the result will be. You'll have that, um, that 0.7 millimeters of gingiva going uh, between the tooth and the bar, and it'll look more like a traditional tooth pocket. Um, I think the main advantage here is, is that the top of the gingiva is connected everywhere. Um, which I assume makes it easier to assemble, um, but that's, you know, it's, it's up to your manufacturing process what works best. All right, so the remaining thing to do now with the teeth is just to remove the screw channels. So we'll make the uh, teeth volume active, and we'll just select the screw channels, and we'll do a subtractive pipe. Pipes can be additive or subtractive, so... And we'll just select the ones that we need here. And that's the subtractive mode there, and then we hit apply. Okay, so uh, only thing remaining now is to assemble and to uh, do save for build. So here are your settings for the offsets. Uh, these are probably uh, pretty tight. If you're uh, printing your bar in uh, titanium, you might want to have a, a bigger offset here. Okay, so now you see all the offsets. Uh, the intersections are drafted. That's why we're getting a slightly uh, bigger gap over there. That's just because of the, the angle of uh, the path of insertion uh, down the side of the bar. It should fill up with resin uh, nicely, and it's just in some localized areas, so that's probably all fine. Let's take a look at the gingiva here. Um, so you can see how it made the, uh, the, the tooth pockets, and that it's still covering, uh, covering the bar.
Okay, let's wrap it up with save for build. Um, reduction uh, does take a little bit longer, but it makes the files much smaller, so I'm just going to do that here. Okay, so there we are. Um, let's just explode these parts and take a look. Okay, let's uh, give it a shot. All right. So I hope this is useful and gives you some ideas. Um, and if you need any help, just give me a holler. Thank you. Bye.